create, sculpt, texture, and render a realistic portrait of Anakin. That was my goal for this project. And now, over a month later, I can confidently say that's exactly what I did. Here's how I made this Anakin portrait in Blender. The great beginning to any art project is collecting reference. So I went to Pinterest, Getty Images, and Google and grabbed a bunch of reference images and threw them into Puref. Puref is a free image viewing software for artists and I highly recommend it. And then I jumped into Blender and started sculpting. I started with the free 3D scan store base mesh as a base, uh, mainly because I knew this project was going to take a while and I didn't want it to take any longer than it needed to be. And also it's UV unwrapped so I didn't have to worry about that. There's three main stages to sculpting. First you have your big and large forms, which is like the basic placement and movement of things. Then you have your secondary forms, which really bring the model to life and just add so much detail. And then finally you have your tertiary or micro forms. And most of the time on this project was spent sculpting the secondary forms. There was a bit of larger forms, but most of it was taken care of by the base mesh. And surprisingly, I didn't really do any tertiary or micro details because I was able to get away with only using the displacement texture for all the pore details. You can see I'm rotating around my model a lot, and this is important because when 3D sculpting, I have to see my model from all angles, unlike something like drawing, where you're restricted to just one angle. Then I applied the free face skin texture, also from 3D Scan Store, to visualize how the skin would look on my model. Then I set up a simple shader with some subsurface scattering, tweaked the UVs a bit, and took it into Substance Painter for some more texturing. I imported the base skin textures and spent some time painting the spots, freckles, and scar on Anakin's face. Then I went over it with the clone tool and just cleaned up some of the spots on the base texture. After that, I took it into Blender for the first test render, and it needed a lot of work. So I went back into Substance Painter and painted areas like the eyes and mouth as a darker color in the roughness channel, so they would be more reflective and wet in the render. Then I painted the sclera, the white and veiny part of your eye, and also increased the height so that the veins would have a slight bump. I also removed the eyebrows from the texture and, uh, and also added some more very subtle red and brown spots. Then I took the iris into Substance Painter and just did some simple texturing and made the little fibers a lighter blue than the rest of the eye. After that, I moved on to grooming the eyelashes using the relatively new hair system in Blender. I also did the eyebrows, but I ended up redoing them later on, so yeah. At this point, I was pretty stuck, so I took some renders and brought them into Photoshop to match them up with the images of Anakin's face, and then tried to match that up in Blender. I had been putting off the hair for days, so I decided there's nothing better to do than to just do it. And after trying once and failing, What is that? What is that? Wait! It I sculpted a base mesh to help me visualize how it looks in 3D. I used that mesh as a guide as to where to place my hair curves. Now, after I had something that resembled Golem, I thought it was a good time to take a break from the hair and make the clothes. And then after taking a few business days to realize the awful hairstyle I just created, oh no! 
I returned to the hair. I broke the hair up into multiple objects to have more control. And I added curl and clump hair modifiers to break up the hair and make it look more natural. I also used black and white textures as a mask to control where the hair goes. I also learned that if you add a principled hair shader and change it from direct coloring to melanin concentration, you can realistically control the amount of melanin in the hair, resulting in a much more realistic hair shader. Back to the model, I continued with the face. Something was still off about the likeness, so I spent a few hours moving things around to try to fix that. After some touch-ups to the face, I returned to the hair and spent a few days moving it around and adding modifiers, while also making adjustments to the face. I also played around with a pose where his head was down, but I didn't like that. As I mentioned before, I did end up redoing the eyebrows. And also added tiny little hairs all over the face, like real humans have. Nice job, team! And some around the temple, forehead, and corners of the eyebrows to break up the cleanness on the edge of the hair. I played around with multiple lighting setups and continued to make tweaks to the face. And after hours of little tweaks to the face, I took a break from it and moved on to the clothes. Just some simple sculpting while looking at reference, of course, some retopology, texturing, and materials. I also added some little hairs on the clothing too for some fuzz. After the clothes came probably the longest and most annoying stage. I spent over a week just making small adjustments to the face and hair. It was really just trial and error until I got something I was happy with. Oh yeah, I also added a tear line on the bottom lid of the eye. Just a simple mesh with a water material to soften the transition of the lid to the eye. And after countless hours and days of these small changes, I decided to call it done. Because I was pretty happy with where the portrait was at, and I had already spent a long time on it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the final result. I'm not a pro at likeness by any means, and I don't plan on doing a lot of likenesses in the future just because I like the freedom of creating my own characters. This was more of a learning experience than anything. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'd appreciate it if you guys liked it and shared it with another artist. I'll see you in the next one.